Hello everyone, this is Derek at Aquanut Pool Care and today I am going to show you how to install a brand new Pentair SD80 sand filter and the reason for it is obvious. This old sand filter, the tank has gotten a puncture in it. As you can see, it's a pretty bad one. It's spewing water everywhere. Once a sand filter or any filter gets a puncture like this, it has to be replaced. It cannot be repaired due to the fact that the filter expands and contracts under pressure. But not all is lost. You can use this for other things such as a rain catcher or whatever kind of arts and crafts project that you want to do. Now, let's get into it. First thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to turn off the power. Make sure that the timer is off. If you can get to the breaker, that's even better. Make sure that there's no timer pins on the actual timer clock. Make sure that the pump does not turn on. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to put a tag out lock out on this. Zip tie it closed so that nobody comes along and accidentally turn this pump on because we're going to go ahead and open up the filter so that it can drain. Going to go ahead and first put it to the winterized mode and then we're going to start taking out some plugs. We're going to take out the main drain plug Then we're going to remove the neck clamp that holds the multi-port top on. This might take a little bit of doing depending on how tight the person put it on there. As you can see here, I'm struggling just a little bit, but I get it off. Then we're gonna go ahead and cut the pipes and remove the multi-port top. Now that the pipes are cut, a simple twisting motion and pulling upwards will get that top off. This is what it looks like inside the filter. Now that that's draining, we're gonna give it 24 hours or so to make sure it's completely dry. Here is the inside of a dry sand filter. You're going to need a shop vac. Vac out all of the sand. This might take an hour or so depending on how much sand in the filter is wet. It is much easier to vacuum out dry sand than it is wet sand. Once that's done, go ahead and remove the filter tank and either use it for some kind of an arts and crafts project like a rain catcher or sell it on Craigslist. But this filter tank can never be used in a pressure environment such as being a sand filter. Now we're gonna go ahead and very carefully and accurately set the new sand filter in place. Gonna go ahead and set the base first, making sure that we line it up where the old filter was. We don't wanna to have to do a lot of plumbing here. We're also going to spin the tank to make sure that the drain was in the same position the old filter drain was. Now we're gonna put in the tool that they give you to keep the sand out of the center pipe so you don't get sand on the inside of the laterals. We're gonna fill the tank up about a quarter of the way with water to keep the laterals from being damaged while we're putting in the pea gravel and sand. I like to remove the stickers also. First, we're gonna start out with one bag of pea gravel. This is what pea gravel looks like and it is the first thing that goes in this particular filter. Remember to do this slowly. You don't wanna damage the plastic laterals at the bottom of the filter. Next, we're gonna do sand. This is a special sand filter sand. It's a number 20, and we're gonna put in four bags. 
for a total of four bags of sand, one bag of pea gravel. After that's done, we're gonna rinse off the top and remove the tool. We're gonna fill the filter up about three quarters of the way before we put the multi-port top on. Putting the multi-port top on, we're gonna go ahead and make sure that our pipes are lined up properly. And in this case, I'm using high temp unions so that I can take the multi-port off easier whenever we do a sand change in about three to five years. I like to wipe off the excess glue just to make it look a little bit better. Now if you'll notice here, I haven't put the neck clamp on yet because I'm making sure that all of my pipes are lined up and I'm giving myself a little bit of wiggle room so that I can glue the pipes in place properly. Do a little bit of measuring to make sure that you've got all of the pipes lined up the way they should be. A lot of people call this gluing, but this is actually a pipe weld. We're welding the pipe in place so that it doesn't leak in the future. It's very important to do the filter and the return side first, then you can go ahead and do the backwash. Backwash doesn't matter quite as much as the other two. Now we can go ahead and put on our neck clamp and tighten it down. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and put on the pressure gauge. Just a little bit of Teflon tape and hand tighten it. Then we're gonna move the multi-port to the rinse position. Per manufacturer's recommendation, we are going to rinse this filter for about 30 seconds to two minutes. After you've rinsed, go ahead and put it back in the filter mode and you're done. You've now installed a Pentair SD80 sand filter. Sit back and enjoy your work. If this video has been helpful to you in any way, please hit that like button and remember to subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.